So, uh, drawn a little sketch here. Would you do this? We have system boiler, doesn't matter if system boiler or not, it's irrelevant. Basically putting in a full bore 22 mil bypass in the system um, with, with uh, the radiators off the same circuit. Now this to me uh, is just a complete no-no and yet it's what people are doing. They're putting in close coupled T's at the underfloor heating and creating exactly the scenario in my first drawing, which is so blatantly obviously wrong uh, that I can't believe that people thought that this was correct. This is obviously very, very wrong and um, should be avoided. So uh, this is uh, sort of a standard method that's been used and, and uh, the, the one people are trying to work around, which is the use of either close couple of T's or a low loss header at the boiler. Um, and then uh, the heating system, the underfloor heating system can either use its own pump to draw in or might need to be pressurized. And the radiator should have a separate pump to uh, run the radiator circuit. There's obviously some issues with pipe sizing and stuff here, but this is just diagrammatic. So this is obviously the, um, the, the tried and tested method of doing this. Um, might be worth noting that um, there's a problem at manifolds, which is why people are doing this in the first place, uh, with, with noise induced on the manifolds from um, the, uh, the blending valve being closed while it's being hit upon by, by the uh, pressure from the pump. I believe that's the problem they're trying to solve anyway. Um, or trying to stop interference between the circuits. Now obviously this method gives you no interference between the circuits, um, but uh, uh, the other one does. The common solution at the moment is giving it a problem. So, right, Worcester Bosch have come up with a very clever little idea. I, I do think this is a good idea. I think it's slightly wrong. Uh, they've used close coupled T's, then they've used a diverter valve uh, on the radiator circuit. So. The uh, underfloor heating circuit here is, is always basically hydraulically separated from the heating system, which works well. And if you look at the, the system here, um, it, it'll, uh, it'll allow the boiler pump to, uh, to actually have its full pressure without any hydraulic interaction at this circuit due to these close coupled T's to power the radiators as and when the diverter valve selects that circuit. If the diverter valve is diverting back to the boiler, this simply becomes, uh, you know, like a, a standard loop and close coupled T circuit without the heating circuit, and this adds it on. So this is a clever solution. Um, I would never have thought of it, and congratulations to Worcester Bosch uh, for coming up with it. Uh, I think it's a better option to put the underfloor heating on the return, so that when the radiators are actually running, uh, we're benefiting from uh, an even further reduced return temperature to the boiler by having the underfloor in here. We don't want... Uh, really to have the uh, dropping temperature from the underfloor into the radiators as 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 uh, much so there could be a disadvantage in this one and perhaps this is a better design but that's a small criticism i think the uh, the principle was very clever this could be done with um, a normally open and a normally closed um, zone valve rather than a diverter valve if that's easier for people as well it doesn't have to be done with a diverter valve and um, But uh, this is a solution as far as I can see. When, when we come back to our boiler, we've normally got the flow and the return from the, um, from the radiator system available. So all we actually need to do is put our radiator circuit on as a close coupled T and our underfloor on as a close coupled T. We've now got our primary loop uh, and we've got our, sorry, I missed a pump off here, we need pump on that circuit. There, we've now got our primary loop and we've got a pump on our underfloor and we've got a pump for our radiator circuit into a set of close couple of T's. So very easy, just an addition of one pump uh, to the radiator circuit and instead of coming back uh, on the return side, coming in as a close couple of T. And that I think would be able to be applied to a lot of situations, but you've got a few options there. So, but 
no close coupled tees just on underfloor manifolds it's a very very big mistake in my book